Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I will discuss about Newton's second law of motion and linear momentum. The relationship between Newton's second law of motion and linear momentum it states that uh, consider a body of mass m is moving with initial velocity vi after some time an external force f applied on that body and its velocity may be increases or decreases then it becomes final velocity vf from the relation from the relationship of acceleration you can see that vf minus vi over t and you can see the arrowhead on acceleration and have on velocity because it seems that acceleration and velocity is a vector quantity and we also know that that body is also apply uh, the force is applying on that body and it is also exert an acceleration in the form of a in the direction in the direction of velocity and from the newton second law of motion we know that f is equal to ma and we will deduct we will, we will reduce acceleration is equal to f over m and from this from expression 1 and expression 2 we can equate that vf minus vi over t is equal to f over m and we will cross multiply after cross multiplication it will become f cross t is equal to m into vf minus vi and it will become f cross t is equal to mvf minus mvi and from the expression of linear momentum we can say that this is final momentum this is initial momentum and we will write like this f cross t is equal to pf this is final momentum minus pi this is initial momentum and we can say that this is change in momentum f cross t and I will rewrite like this f cross t is equal to m into vf minus vi and I will multiply m in both both of the terms mvf minus mvi which is known as this is also known as final momentum pf this is also known as initial momentum pi and this is our change in momentum f cross t it means that the change in momentum of a body is equal to product of force applied force multiplied by time and if we want to calculate the rate of time rate of change in momentum we will divide by time on both sides it will become force is equal to delta p over t it means that time rate of change of linear momentum is equal to applied force guys till now we have finished the second newton second law of motion and linear momentum up till now we will finish it and uh, we will see in the next video if you like our video you can subscribe our channel and uh, for to get a latest video thank you so much see you bye bye